සුබ සන්ධ්‍යාවක් සියලු දෙනාටම අපි මේ ශ්‍රී ලංකා ජාතික ඡායාරූප කලා සංගමේ මේ ප්‍රථම වරට තමයි අපි මේ වගේ සීරිස් එකක් පටන් ගන්නවා. ඒ දැන් මේක අපි මාසේ හැම මාසෙකම තුන්වෙනි සතිය වගේ තමයි බොහෝ දුරට අපි මේක පවත්වන්න කටයුතු යොදලා තියන්නේ. ඒකට අපි හැම තිස්සේම යොදා ගන්න ප්‍රසන්ටර්ස් ලා අපි බලාපොරොත්තු වෙන්නේ ජාතික අන්තර මට්ටමේ අය. ඒ කියන්නේ ඉන්ටර්නැෂනල් ප්‍රසන්ටර්ස් ලා තමයි අපි ෆොටෝග්‍රැෆර්ස් ලා තමයි ෆොටෝ ආටිස්ට් ලා තමයි අපි මේකට ගන්න බලාපොරොත්තු වෙන්නේ. මොකද ලෝකලි ගත්තොත් එහෙම අපි හුඟක් ඩිස්කෂන්ස් වලදී අපේ ලෝකල් අය ඒ කියන්නේ කතා කරලා තියෙනවා. ඉතින් ඒක හින්දා අපි මේක වෙනස් කන්සෙප්ට් එකක් හැටියට වෙනස් දෙයක් හැටියට අපි ඉන්ටර්නැෂනල් අයව එක්ස්පෝෂර් එකක් ගන්නත් එක්කම අපි ඉන්ටර්නැෂනල් ස්පීකර්ස් ලා අපි මේකට සම්බන්ධ කරගත්තා. විශේෂයෙන්ම ස්තුතිවන්ත වෙනවා ඩොක්ටර් අහමඩ් මොහොබඩ් හසන්ට එතුමා අපේ ඉන්විටේෂන් එක පිළිගත්තා අපේ ප්‍රසන්ටේෂන් එක කරන්න ඒකම තව ඉදිරියටත් අපි පෙළගස්සලා තියෙනවා තව ජාත්‍යන්තර මට්ටමේ ෆොටෝ ආටිස්ට් ලව මේකට ගෙන්වන්න ඒකම ඔබ සම සාදරයෙන් පිළිගන්නවා අධ්‍යක්ෂක මණ්ඩලය වෙනුවෙන් සහ ශ්‍රී ලංකා ජාතික ඡායාරූප කලා සංගමය වෙනුවෙන් ඔකලන් හැමෝම ආදරයෙන් ගෞරවයෙන් පිළිගන්නවා ඒකම මේ විශේෂයෙන් කියන්න ඕනේ මේ මේ කටයුත්ත මට කන්සෙප්ට් එක ආපිලා මට මේක කරන්න ඕනේ කියලා හිතුණ වෙලා මට ගොඩක් සපෝට් කරේ විකුම් හැමදාමත් මාත් එකම වැඩ වලදි හිටියා අදත් මේ මොඩරේට කටයුත්ත එක්කම කෝඩිනේෂන් වැඩ හැම එකක්ම මට කරලා දෙන්නේ සහ මාත් එක ඉන්නේ විකුම් ඒකම තව ජාත්‍යන්තර අපි ශ්‍රී ලංකන් අපේ ෆොටෝ ආටිස්ට් ලා කීප දෙනෙකුත් මේකට සම්බන්ධ වෙලා ඉන්නවා කීප දෙනෙක් නෙමෙයි ගොඩක් අය ඉන්නවා ඒකම පාසල් ළමුන් ඉන්නවා ඒකම තවත් වෙන සොසයිටි වල සොසයිටි වල පට්ටිය මන් දැක්ක සම්බන්ධ වෙලා ඉන්නවා ඒකම ඉන්ඩස්ට්‍රල් ෆොටෝ ආටිස්ට් ලා කීප පොලක්ම සහභාගී වෙලා ඉන්නවා මම හිතනවා තව ටිකක් වෙලා යනකොට තවත් පට්ටිය එකතු වෙයි කියලා ඉතින් ඕටි වෙකුම් රයිට් ගුඩ් ඉවිනින් एवरीवन සුබ සන්ධ්‍යාවක් හැමෝටම uh uh doctor uh mohammed hazan would you mind uh, uh having your video on so that everyone can see you thank you basically i'm not going to take too much time mang wedi kala gata karanna bala poruth wenne nae mang mang hadanne medena introduction ekak karanna doctor ahmed mohammed hazan uh gana uh doctor ahmed uh, mohammed hazan is a doctor of medicine Uh, he is also the president of the Faroes uh, International Camera Club he is a founder member of that club he is a internationally acclaimed judge of photography he is also uh, a participant of many uh, global photographic uh, exhibitions and salons where he has uh, got over 600 awards in various forms uh he's also a esfiap uh sorry efiap uh, silver uh, distinction holder apart from other uh, distinctions that he holds from psa uh, gpu and many other organizations in photography um he is also an instructor of uh, nikon school in the middle east apart from his medical practice he has been a very uh, enthusiastic street photographer as i be, as i have seen him in action when i met him in person in india a few weeks ago and uh, he volunteered to actually you know when i asked him he, he just said yes i will be glad to be part of this whole session very well, well warm welcome to you dr uh, hazan on behalf of the national photographic art society which is the FIAP lies an office uh, which currently by de facto is held by Mr Shantanu Ratna who who who's on screen right now and uh, there are many other members of the board of directors from NPAS present here today as well as uh, many senior uh, photographers in the industry what you might also want to know is that as i explained earlier we have uh, school children who are participating today we have students of the diploma program of npas participating today we have very senior photographers from sri lanka as well as from around the world who are participating in this session uh, so you should be proud that you are kick starting this whole thing and uh, this is the first of many uh, such monthly programs that we hope to continue with when sangha came and asked me we did something similar in a different sense on judging for the distinction holders or distinction awardees uh, back in november 
when we had an entirely uh, international panel of judges, uh, evaluators uh, for the distinction programs by the society. So this is another uh, step in the right direction, I believe, that the society has taken uh, towards getting internationally acclaimed photographers and uh, thought leaders to come on board and then present their, their side of things. Um, so with that, I would like to also acknowledge the presence of uh, Kanchana Aya Marasinghe, former president, and FIAP Lazen for the country uh, who's present here today, and many other photographers, including my own colleague, uh, colleagues from PSA, Pandula, uh, Chandima, who are present here. I would like to uh, uh, invite you to take the floor and then we, let me first explain to in, in, in the local language to the participants as to how this is being structured. Uh, Dr. Hassan, I session going to talk about this session. I am 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 going to talk about this session. I Mama ek translate kela doctor ke halay ta mang utre dena. Eva ge ma ita pas deveni kote sevene a concepts ko amade ya apply kela ya pawis chicken na ya ya penna na pintu ra hara kiyeva na khata mukhade kela explain karani ke na ke tamay ya karan dena. Abi awasane vinadi palo kare visa kare arage na prashna hamu utra gamu eking. A Athra Turedi, Mankarnavan, Illa Sidna, Potama, Mute Kalatiagana, the Hamungi Mikes, Prashna Handa, Interrupt Karande and Depa, over the Eka Floyd, a Gil, it a passi, our second Prashna Tiger, Evilata, Liela, Tiela, Haganda, our son, Edi. Thank you. Okay, Doctor Ahmed, over to you. You are now the one who will be driving this, and we will be all on mute. First of all, thank you for your invitation and thank you for your program for distributing the knowledge of photography around the world. It's my honor to be part of this program. I need to thank all the participants to being here and I hope everyone will get some new information or some help for information in his field of photography. Our presentation today will be divided into two parts. <coughs> One part we will talk about some principle in photography and the second part we will apply principle on some of my street photography. The third part will be an open floor for any questions that you need to ask. My friend Vigam will help me if someone needs any kind of translation in the local language, he will do it. So let's start. Okay, so the first point that we will talking about today, uh, how to describe a photography. You need to have a fast eye to find your subject, to find what you need to shoot. So how to reach this point in street photography? You need to know how to read a photo. How can you describe a photograph? So in simple way, we have three points that we need to know it in each kind of photography when we need to describe it. First thing is that we need to go from general to specific, from the open way of the photography to the specific bar. Then we need to describe according to the knowledge or according to the descriptive of imaging not according to our feeling. What is this meaning? We meaning that we need to use composition, shape, size. So again, what I am saying that uh, why we need to know how to describe a photography, how to describe an image, because in street photography, your eye need to be very fast to capture what you need to shoot. So how to do it in simple way, we have three points that we need to learn when we are describing a photo. The first one, we are going from the general aspect in this photograph to the specific part. The second part, we need to describe what we need to describe accurately and objectively, not according to our feeling. So how to do this? By using an imagination and vivid language, the image language. What is this image language? We have composition, we have shape, we have size, we have texture, we have color. So we need to take on our mind all this point when we are describing the image. When we are using these points and learning more and more on different image for a street photographer, your eye will be trained to capture the moment of street photography. Because street photography usually is taking a moment which will not happen again. 
So what is the best eight photographic composition rules that we have? First, that we need to use, as always works, we hear the rule of third. We need, to dis we need to find any kind of frames around us from the nature to frame our subject. We need to find a leading line to lead our eye for our subject. We need to use the pattern available in around us. Get creative with color. What's meaning get creative with color? Use the color to describe what you need to describe in your image. Play with your background. Sometimes you need your background to be in focus. Sometimes you need it to be out of focus. This is according what is in your mind when we are taking this image. Find a unique point of view. Always try to find yourself. Always try to find a point of view that is not usual for everyone by low angle, high angle, whatever you are seeing, but try to do it several times. And always try and try again. Not from the first time you will get rid and said, no, I didn't get what I need, so it's okay, I will not continue. Street photography need patient. Okay, we have three important things in photography. Light, subject, and composition. So always when you are shooting, try to get the light and subject and composition in your image in a good way. Try to let them help your idea. Try to let them reflect what you need to reflect for us. What is the meaning of golden ratio in photography? The golden ratio is where you will put your subject. Always putting your subject in the good way and in the good place in your image will give you the highest or best uh, send it for everyone or show it for everyone. Okay, this is the most important por uh, part. We have what's called 3C in photography. The content, the content, the composition. The content, what is in your image. The concept, what is in your mind when you are taking this image. The composition, how you are arranging your subject in a good way inside the image. So always try to have the three S, the three C when you are shooting any image, the content, the concept, the composition to get a good photo. Okay, if we have some time that we feel in street photography that we don't have an interesting thing to shoot or it's boring around us, try to play with the image in black and white. Try to do HDR photography. Try to do some motion photography, banning. Use the banning technique to have some motion in your image. To uh, try to be to have some cellular portrait. So always try and try and try. Try to use uh, like some kind of uh, plugs in uh, post processing programs. How can we describe the street photography? What is the meaning of street photography? Street photography is capturing of daily life in public area or public place. Capturing the image without knowing. No one can know that you are taking his image or her image. Always you need to be some kind of hidden. Not hidden away, but no one is seeing you as a professional photographer or as a photographer. You need to catch it and go. Okay, what is the elements of street photography? What is the key elements in street photography? The key elements is you are taking a, a candidate photo without knowing in a public place for some people without knowing in a public place. We need to use the color around us to like uh, point it for our subject, to clarify our subject. We need always to use a rare basing moment. What's meaning of that? That uh, in street photography, the important that you will get a moment which will not be repeated again. So it's capturing of a moment which will not be repeat. This is the street photography. So it is not a posing one or it is not an arranged photography. Okay, how can we make a great street photographer? What is the, what make a great street photographer? First, to take a strange images. Always what's meaning of strange images? This is the moment that will not happen again. This is called strange images. Okay. Always shoot personal images. Explore different prescriptive and take risk. Be creative and have a good time. What are the rules of street photography? The rules of street photography is that you are allowed to shoot anywhere 
even if it is in private property. But if someone tell you to stop shooting at this moment, you cannot continue shooting. So the rule as a street photographer, you can shoot anywhere you like, unless someone tell you, you cannot shoot here. After that, if you continue shooting, you will be against the law. How can we make a great, what make a great photographer? A great photographer is, can be by passionate and learn more and more. So never stop, stop learning. Always try to learn. Always try to see others' images for street photographer, for famous street photographer, for the modern street photographer to see what's going on. And what is the best time of a street photographer? It is mostly like all the kind of photography, sunset and sunrise because of the softness of the light. What we are calling the dramatic light, the blue light and the golden light. How do street photographer become confident? First, that you need to have ethics, that you need to work according to the ethics. Always try to have some people inside your image. Always be confident and smile. Don't be afraid. If someone is seeing you after you are taking the photo, don't run away. Try to smile. Try to be kindness with him. Try to show him the image. Try to have your business card to say, I will send it for you, but I will do some like uh, post the process to, be, to look good. Go to the location several times, not only one time. When you are going to a location several times, you will be familiar with this location. People will start getting that they are seeing you several times. So you will not be as a stranger in this area. Why do people love street photography? People love street photography because it's giving them the power to talk with a stranger. It's giving them the power to increase their social network with people to acting with people and to forget the fear. This is the most important point. Always forget the fear. Try to act with the people, interact with the people, try to be kindness with the people. What is the main problem with the street photography? The main problem of street photography always that it is like explosive. If, when someone is seeing you taking photo without his permission, he will he may be become angry. He may be start to fight with you. So for this reason, you need to smile. You need to start to calm him down. Don't be also aggressive because already you took his photo or her photo without permission. And this is a street photography. So always try to be kindness. Always try to have a smile. Always try to have with you business card to give it to them that you will send it for them later in a good way. Okay, I will talk now about my setting when I am doing street photography. What I am doing, what is the setting that I am doing when I am doing street photography? Usually I am using ISO 400 for sunlight and 800 for light shade, 1600 for dark shade, 3200 to 6400 for early evening into night. This is my recommendation. But everyone can take his own recommendation or his own setting. What camera that I am using during my shooting in street photography? Usually I am using Fuji X-T3 with 27 millimeter lens or Nikon Z30 with 1650 millimeter lens. Because always in street photography, you need to have a small camera so you will not be notes. No one will catch you. No one will see you. It will look like you are taking photo around you. And what I am talking about, this is my setting. You can choose the settings that you like according to your situation. Again, we will say why street photography is difficult. For what we are asking that you are taking photo for people without their knowledge. And this may be become an exclusive letter if they note that we are taking their photos. So for this reason, it is a kind of difficult. You cannot arrange it. You cannot ask a permission before you shoot. Another, some like some theory is telling that does a street photography need people inside it? A lot of people have a different thing here. One thing that some people said, yes, we need for, uh, people to be inside our photography. Some people said, no, we can, we, uh, some photos we cannot be without people, but we can use like animals. We can use like kind of motions. 
to reflect what we our idea or our concept. So it will depend on you how to reflect this image as a street photography to include people or to include animal or, or to do some motions for cars or for something is walking. This is depending on you. Okay, what we are, as a street photographer, what we are doing with our image, this is a very important point. You can use your image in your publication, in your social media, in your article, if you are writing an article, but you cannot use it in a commercial purpose, unless you have a permission from this person. And as we said, we are taking these images without permission. We as we are, well, let's say street photographer is called as a hunter, hunter photography. They hunt the image without knowledge, without anyone to seeing them taking this image. So you cannot use it in a commercial purpose, but you can use it in any kind of article, in your social media, in your, uh, like, if you are printing a book for yourself or whatever, you can use it. What make a good street portrait? If I need to take a street portrait, what is the very important point that I need to take care about? You need to include the eye, the eye to be clear, you need to have the facial expression of these people. So always the expression, try to reflect the expression why you are taking this street portrait. And uh, the meaning of street portraiting, it is not a posing one. So anything related to street photography, we need to make sure it is not a posing one or it is not an arranging one. It is something happening in our daily life and it happened suddenly without any preparation and I can capture it. Here we have two famous street photographer. One of them who makes a street photographer popular, his name is Gary Wengrand. His image is the first image down, the one without camera. So this is the one who make a street photography popular. But if I said who is the father of street photography, he will be Hernie, uh, Hernie Carter. So this is the two famous worldwide street photographer. The one who makes street photographer popular and the father of street photography. Okay, the, most, uh, the other things that we need to know, what we are wearing if you are doing a street photographer. Wear as comfortable as you can. Wear a comfortable clothes. Take only one camera with you. Okay, the most important thing in street photography, don't let the people knowing you. Don't let the people looking for you. Don't say I am a professional photographer, so I need to go in fully webbed or fully equipped. So if I'm a street photographer, I cannot go like that. This is not a street photographer. Because now you are telling everyone I am a photographer and I am taking your images. So you cannot use it like that. You remember the two uh, person we said now, uh, Henry and Wingran. Here is Henry. You see what he's wearing? He's wearing a normal clothes with a small camera. This is the father of street photography, Henry Carter. And for Jerry, same thing. He is wearing normal clothes with a small camera. So to be a street photographer, always, you need to have to wear comfortable clothes, normal one with a small camera in your hand, so no one will looking for you. As much as you are heading between the people, as much as you will get from streets. This is a very, very important point. So always try to be very, very minimal in your equipment. So no one can notify you or not see you. Okay, I think this is the first part is finished. So you can translate now, Vikram. Is someone need translation or asking someone? Okay. Khato, the the metana mevela ve doctor hasan idhi pat kare street photography karna kine mona vidya the hasan do ne mona vidye ampan da gini an do ne mona vidye andun da na gini do ne aye ma ven do ne kine ka. Uh, eh, wagi emat amai, uh, ai street photography, uh, uh amaru karanda. Uh, karna video monada, eh, 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 sangkal pem monada kinekatamai metana kiaune. 
කාටවත් යම් කිසි ප්‍රශ්නයක් තියෙනවා මම දන්නවා මෙතන දැන් කීප දිනක් ඉන්නවා අපි අතරෙත් ස්පීඩ් ෆොටෝග්‍රැෆි ඉහළ පෙත්තම ගිය කට්ටිය ඉන්නවා මෙතන නමුත් යම් කිසි දෙයක් තියෙනවද මේ කොන්සෙප්ට්ස් එක කියන්නේ සංකල්පමය වශයෙන් මොනාරි තියෙනවද තමුන්ට ප්‍රශ්න අහන්න ඩොක්ටර් හසන්ගේ are there any questions to the international audience are there any questions that you would want to raise to or clarifications that you would want to have from uh, dr hasan on on the first part of uh, these about the concepts as a street photographer that you need to be aware of the concepts the background the ethics uh, what to do what not to do what uh, clothes to wear what equipment to have what equipment not to have so that you are not so much as prominently seen as a photographer when you are capturing images samir mohan mandana oba depalama me street photography udata giya kattiya me yam kisi prashnayak hari mohak hari thiyala do api me 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 මේ සංවාදය ගමු එක්තරා විදියකට හැමෝගෙම්ම ඉන්පුට් එකක් ගන්න පුළුවන් ඒ දෙන්න හැමෝට හැමෝටම කන්ට්‍රිබියුට් කරන්න පුළුවන් ඒ දෙන්න මේක මේක ඉස්කෝලයක් නෙමෙයි මේක පන්තියක් නෙමෙයි මේක අපි අපි බලමු එතන ඉන්ටර්නැෂනල් අපි බලමු කීර්ති අයත් ඉන්නවා ඔතන දැක කේජි කීර්ති අයත් ඉන්නවා එතකොට අපේ ගාව ඉන්න එකම ෆීමේල් ෆොටෝ ජර්නලිස්ට් ඉන්නවා රශ්මිකා අක්කා ඉන්නවා නේද ඔතන අපේ ග්‍රූප් එකේ මෙතන ඉන්නවනේ යමන හිටියා හිටියා යමන හිටියානේ ඔව් ආ මොකක් හරි තියනවද ඕගොල්ලන්ගේ පැත්තෙන ඔක් කියන්න දෙයක් මොකක් හරි තියනවද කියන්න මොකද ඒක මේ එක ඇත්තටම ටු වේ කමියුනිකේෂන් එකක් කරගමු අපි හැමෝටම ඉගෙන ගන්න පුළුවන් තාන් වෙන නිකොම් දැස් අ ක්වෙස්චන් ඔව් කියන්න ඉස් දෙයර් එනි ස්පෙසිෆික් ලෝ ෆෝ ස්ට්‍රීට් ෆොටෝග්‍රැෆි ඉන් ශ්‍රී ලංකා චනිරු මුනසිං ආස් ඇක්චුලි ඉට් ඉස් රිලේටඩ් ටු ශ්‍රී ලංකන් ෆෝ ස්ට්‍රීට් ෆොටෝග්‍රැෆි Okay. Yeah, is there any specific law for street photography in Sri Lanka? In Sri Lanka, let's, let's yeah, say yeah, yeah. In, a, in a general way. Okay. Uh, street photography all over the world. It's again, let's say it's some kind of against the law. What's meaning? Anywhere it's not uh, like, like it or it's not good to take uh, images for someone in a different situation or in a different position. which is happening suddenly no one will like it so this is a this is a street photographer doing this is the hunting of street photography always try to be hidden as i said always not let people seeing you and if that happen try to solve it in a kind way even if you uh, even it will happen that you will erase the image from your camera you need to do it because if he raise a complaint or if he raise any kind of issues it will be on you so try to be kind try to have always a smiling try to have your business card with you that you will send it for him in a good way try to convince him or her that this is not a bad issue that this is not a bad uh, you will not use it in a bad way this is just a kind of photography try to explain if they agree or they agree if not so you need to erase it in front of them Yeah, I, uh, I have, I am Mervyn Pereira, I have a question. Now, uh, when I uh, try to take a photo class, the first thing most of the people ask, are you going to put it in the internet? Are you going to put it in social media? What is the purpose? Don't put my photo in, in the internet or social media. So, people are a bit reluctant now. I have noted my personal experience. if i if i may uh, sorry marvin and also shantaya uh, if i may explain uh, there's no specific rule as far as sri lanka is concerned mm-hmm. but in general as uh, far as uh, any goes uh, one has to respect the person whom you are trying to capture or, or the situation that you are ca- trying to capture just like what marvin mentioned people don't like to be uh, let's say you are trying to uh, as a street photographer we will be trying to capture uh, let's say a, a calamity a, a problem uh, or or a disaster that's happened and you go to that place and you try to capture remember that or 
some of the images that Mohan had taken uh, when when there was a fire and then uh, that whole area got demolished and 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 people got affected. So whatever he took would have been taken undercover. So as a street photographer, just like what the doctor says, uh, you are trying to be uh, un undercover, not to be seen as a photographer trying to capture those places or situations that would then take to the be it social media or any media for that matter that might impact that person's or that family's or that community's uh, you know status in the society because at the end of the day api amoma hadanne api society ge inna kota are the right mage mata mokare prashna ak timunoth thema dan ma maawa man man kaatte kar api ithuma me me vilode gen man kaatte kar gaha ganne ekak kawara evilla pinthura ek ganna man e kemathi nae धन्यवे එහෙම නැතුව මේ මං හිතන්නේ කිසිම මේ රූල් එකක් තියෙනවා කියලා ස්ට්‍රීට් ෆොටෝග්‍රැෆි වලට කිසිම රටක නමුත් අපි එතික්ස් වශයෙන් ගත්තොත් අපි සාමාන්‍යයෙන් ස්ටැන්ඩර්ඩ් එකක් විදිහට ගත්තොත් එහෙම ඒ පුද්ගලයන්ගේ හරි ඒ සොසයිටි එකේ ඒ ඒ කමිටි එක අතරේ අපි ගිහිල්ලා එතන ඉන්ක්ලූඩ් වෙනවා නම් ඒගොල්ලෝගේ ජීවිත ජීවිකාවට මොකක් හරි යම් කිසි බලපෑමක් වෙනවා නම් අපි එතන ගිහිල්ලා කැමරාව අරගෙන පින්තුර ගන්න එකෙන් එතන ඒගොල්ලන්ට හානියක් වෙනවා නම් ඒක ඒක සමාජීය වෙන්න පුළුවන් ෆයිනැන්ෂලි ඒ කියන්නේ මොන්ටරි වෙන්න පුළුවන් එහෙම වෙනවා නම් ඒක නොබිය යුතුයි කියන තැන තමයි අපි ඉන්නේ හැමෝම මිකොම් මෙතන මට දෙන්න බන්දු කියලා රිප්ලයි කරලා මට දෙන්න බන්දු උනත් මාත දන්න ඔන්ලි තින් යු ඔවිට් ටේකින් පික්චර්ස් ඇට් ලොකේෂන්ස් with restrictions imposed by the government or local authorities again samahara den tiyena ara restricted areas etokota poddak e gana sarigali mat wenna kiyala thamai kiyala thiyena eta etan diya bai behema street photographer restricted areas kiyala ekak na mokada street photography wala kelata wenne man hitanne me are e can oy wedding photography wala to oka adala wenna puluwa namuth man hitanne street photography wala to oka adala kiyala sometimes if you are shooting in a harsh light and your idea is that you will not turn this image in a black and white so you need to use nd filter okay uh man hitanne pobindu wata me vikum explain karanna pula ya ahala tiyenne me me den doctor kiwa widera ya nd neutral density filters widera use karanne nd filter ekak widera paavachya karanna pula o samira mohan monari tiyena da ogul wedena red karanna pula yes uh doctor do you have any experience using a tripod in street photography for like conceptual street photography if like uh, trying to capture a moment you, uh, did you use a tripod anywhere or what is your yes. uh, see uh, there was one slide that i mentioned if you are uh, uh, feeling that you don't have a good subject or a good uh, thing to shoot try to be creative so if you need to use a tripod you will not use it to let's say uh, reaction or a human acting you will just uh, use it in have uh, some motion some kind of motion so you will get the street with the building focus one is a sharp will be like motion but to catch a moment for a human you cannot use a tripod because at this moment everyone will looking for you as a photographer so you will not catch it as we said you need to be always hidden to catch the human uh, faces expression thank you is that okay with you Clear? yeah mohan any 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 feedback from you mohan guru singh yes can you hear me yes we can thank you yeah now when when i do street photography 
uh, in my mobile, I carry a small album and where I have taken awards, uh, uh, all my pu published pictures. If, a, if somebody questions me, why are you taking these pictures? Then uh, what I do is I show my album in the mobile. When they inquire whether you are going to uh, upload it in the Facebook, I say yes. I am definitely, I say I sometimes I use the competitions or upload in social media. But uh, for me, very little resistance in the sense 95% uh, of the people whom I capture, they never object. Only about one or two incidences uh, I had come across uh, during my uh, uh, about last 10 years of uh, photography. When I capture some, say, uh, send me a copy of a picture through WhatsApp or email. So I do that. So I have not come across any uh, big issues in uh, street, even during, uh, you know, the, the Aragalaya time. I know people, uh, you know, against the government like things. So, but still people, uh, people allowed us to capture them. There was no objections. So uh, for me, uh, I, I tell them I always publish your pictures, but I never in my last 10 years, I have never sold any picture of them for, and I don't have any intention. Thanks, Mohan. Thanks for your, your, your feedback. Uh, so I think, uh, Shantaya, uh, the, the rules are very clear. There's no hard and fast rule other than for what uh, Mr. Bandhugurata mentioned about, you know, uh, restricted areas of... Uh, because, of because there are some other uh, questions also. Shamila Vikram and I, I think, uh, asked, it was mentioned you need to take permission from the persons in photo if you are going to publish. How does it work when submitting for competitions? Uh, photograph you submit for competitions. Okay. Uh, here you can play with the rules. Uh, if you are taking a portrait for someone alone, he is the only person appearing in the image, then you will have to take his permission. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, the important in street photography that when you are taking, you are focusing. What's, uh, this is what presentation. You need to repeat it again to be clear for everyone because I don't know if everyone hears it or not. If you are taking a portrait and this person is only the one appearing in the image, then you need to have a permission because he can raise anything against you. Because this means you are intended to take his photo, her photo. But the, the beautiful in street photography, when you are shooting someone, always there is people around him. So this is what I mentioned by playing with your background. Always keep your subject sharp, in focus, and the others out of focus. So if anyone is asking you, no, I am not taking you. My idea was taking these people out of focus and you are coming in my frame. My idea was taking the building. So this is the point of a street photography. This is the playing with law. Mm -hmm. So if you are taking a portrait for only one person and the whole, the whole frame, his face or his body is the whole frame, then you need to have a permission. But if you are taking a street photography for one person as a sharp person and other people who is walking in the street, no, this is considered in law as a public area. Anyone can take photo unless it can harm him, yeah. like an accident and someone is dying. So this is considered in law that you are harming the family of these people. Okay, there is another, another question. Uh, what is the most yeah. affordable lens for street photography as a beginner? Uh, for me, 27 or 16 to 50, this is the maximum lens you need in the street photography. So 27 as a prime lens, or you can have, I am using 27 as a prime lens in Fuji and 16 to 50 millimeter in, uh, in Nikon. I don't know in other company what they have the ranges, but this is my 16 range. 16 to 50. 16 to 50, uh, this is for Nikon. I don't have, I don't know what other brand have uh, this limit or 27. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think uh, Chandra will get the answer. Can I, uh, okay, I name a prime lens. I got done on a 27 millimeter. Can I on the lens? I got killer. 
මට දෙන විකුම් මෙයා මෙයා කියන්නේ අපේ ඩොක්ටර් ආන්සර් කරේ එතකොට ඒ වගේම තමයි මිලිමීටර් 154 ජූම් ලෙන්ස් එකක් තියෙනවා නම් ඒකත් වැඩිය හොඳයි කියලා එයාගේ තියෙන කිට් ලෙන්ස් එක ඒ ජාතියේ එකක් තියෙන්නේ වෙන කැමරා නිෂ්පාදකයන්ගේ වෙන වෙන රේන්ජ් එකක් තියෙන්න පුළුවන් හැබැයි බොහෝ විට ඔය 20 මිලිමීටර් 20ට අඩු රේන්ජ් එකේ ඉඳලා තියෙනවා නම් වැඩිය හොඳයි වගේ කතාවක් එකක් කියන්නේ and the most important to have a small camera don't go with a big camera mm-hmm. so always in a lot of in all the brands always there is some kind of cameras which call this is a street camera like what we have seeing now in these images with gary it's looking a small one so it will give you uh, the way to have to hide it not to be not for everyone with a zooming lens and big body and like that i think uh, it, uh, a mirrorless small mirrorless camera is uh, a suitable uh, option yes and uh, there are some other uh, questions what are the limitations in post processing for street photographic competitions what, uh, what again please what, what? what are the limitations in post processing that means editing for street photography competitions okay a street photography uh, it's coming under documentary or uh, photojournalism Okay, so the rules of photojournalism is on street photography. Like you can do a modification, some modification in the saturation. You can convert it whole to black and white. Don't do some part to be color and some part to be black and white. But you cannot add or remove a, like a main subject or a, let's say a main part of the image. You can just do retouching, but not as a fully processed. Mm-hmm. අර කතාවක් ඒකෙන් නිර්මාණය වෙන තැනට තමයි යන්න ඕනේ අපි පින්තූරය හරහා. ඒ අරෙන්ඩ මේ මේ වෙනස් කිරීම් කරන්න බැහැ. ඒක තමයි කියන්නේ මේ ඒක ඒ විදිහට දැකපු තමුන්ගේ ඇහැට දැකපු විදිහටම ඒක පිළිබිඹ වෙන්න ඕනේ තමුන්ගේ පින්තූරය හරහා. ලොකු ඇඩ්ජස්ට්මන්ට්ස් කරන්න බැහැ. ඒවා කරන්න බැහැ. හරි. තව එකක් තියෙනවා should we shoot street photography in black and white or You remember when I said uh, all mind when you are shooting street photography what is the 3C the concept the content the composition mm-hmm. so what is your concept for this photo so some be uh, like to have a black and white so they are shooting from the beginning from the camera black and white some people said no I will shoot it in color and if I like to transfer it later to black and white I will do it. so it depend on your concept what is in your mind to have what do you need to reflect what's your project so it's different from one to one if i am talking about myself i am trying to shoot it. and later on if i find that the color is not good enough i transfer it to black and white because mm-hmm. if you do it from the start as a black and white inside the camera you will not get color later Yeah, so uh, Dr. Kiyane, I have a slide that says content, concept, uh, and, and uh, what's the third one? Composition. Composition. Composition, yes. This is the first thing that you have to do with a gun, a vasta, a anuva, a tirne karan, you have to do with a black and white, you have to do with a color gun. You have to do with a color gun. අද අදාසය ඇඩිට කරන්නේ අපි ගොඩක් වෙලාවට කල අරගෙන ඊට පස්සේ අපි ඒක බ්ලැක් ඇන්ඩ් වයිට් කරලා බලනවා ඒක ඒ අවස්ථාව හොඳද කියලා. ඒක තමුන් තීරණය කරන්න ඕනේ එතන තියෙන කන්ටෙන්ට් එක ඒ ෆ්‍රේම් එකයි අනුව. ඒක තමයි ඩොක්ටර් එක්ස්ප්ලේන් කරේ. ඊළඟට අහනවා what is the best camera on street photography? Uh, there is no best camera. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Uh, no, only, only, only third eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yes, it, it should be a smaller one. That's the main thing. Yes, it should be a smaller one, but at the end, it depends on your budget. Yeah, sure. Again, uh, again camera is not going to be a camera. If you don't have a budget, you can't get a camera. How can you get a camera? Do street photographers use flashes or not? No, you cannot use flash in street photography. See, 
the concept of street photography always be hidden. So yeah. how you will use flash and be hidden? Yeah. So, flash photography करना नेती तार में जो है वो flash photography करना क्या अन्य आनिका के जीवित रह एक अन्य हानिया के में ना वो आप ही इतना इन्हों के लिए दान ना एकोलो इधर एकोलो क्या मतलब इन्हें ऐसा टेकन using these concepts and uh, walk through them you can talk through the through, through the image that would be the best way to explain some of these things and some of the answers most likely will come uh, as you explain as well so this was taken in china okay uh, i like the colors the kind of architecture that showing the lines in the floor and the people who is waiting to pass the street so here what i am doing i am taking if you are seeing the rule of third i am using the rule of third i am using the repeated the repeated uh, pattern and the positioning the composition of my subject here this is another one a lady was in nepal a lady was taking care about her child i was in the car i shot it quickly if you are using here the rule of third again and the repeated pattern of the woods same here in street photography it's attract my uh, eye that he is wearing a face like a smiling face and he is moving with his animal so i am using the line in the floor as to see me the way or to show the way plus the rule of third same one here i am using the repeated here and showing where is this place showing the street and one who is talking in the phone and he is not taking care who is doing what and again rule of third if you see i am using the street as a line to my subject and there was an animal with a child here with umbrella so i am using the lines to take my eye to my subject plus the rule of third here again i am using the rule of third to show two cars the sleeping one the dog here and the repeated pattern or lines on the cars again here i am using the wire to show me the path where is the my path here the repeated pattern here the same so there is line to showing me where they are going plus the rule of third to show me that people is coming from here this is a famous mosque in uh, turkish doctor uh, excuse me sorry you might want to spend maybe 30 seconds on each image so that people can just uh because there are students in the group as well who are attending so that they might want to look at it okay. uh get the, make their own 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 kind of uh, you know uh compositions around it or uh have a have a different viewpoint uh, so allow maybe maybe 10 15 seconds on each image while you talk so that they can oh. you know yeah great thanks this is the all the images i repeated again the one i described i am repeating again just to see it
this image was in Vietnam, like what I described that we need to have the face expression. When I was walking, the child was looking for the stranger and smile. So I am playing with the color. I catch the color around him and the positioning that the uh, dog and him in the uh, rule of third, working with the rule of third. Here, this one was in Nepal at morning time when you are going for kind of safari. I find this way to go to the other side. So I am using as a line, highlighted line, which is pointing to my subject, the man who is walking to the fog. So as I mentioned, try to use a frame. Try to use a guiding line from what around you, what surrounding you. This one was in India. A lady which is holding uh, a cutting wood going to her house. So I capture the area, the surrounding area around here, and I make this wood as a line to guide my eye to her way. This one was in Netherlands. I captured the color and the repeated pattern of the leaves in the floor. And here, if you see uh, this one in one area, the cycle in the middle area, this one in the third area. So it is like a triangular shape. This is what I said. We need to play with shapes, with color, with lines. Here, this one was in Nepal. A lady was sitting, talking with another lady and the two hands was, taken, was eating in the floor. So I am using the three of them as a triangular. This one in Egypt, a one who is carrying this one and put it in the sun to dry. So I am using the lines of the arranged put that he is putting before in the sun as a lines. Plus he is going in the we same way of these lines. This one, I was taking photos around and he looked to me once I shoot. So it's coming like that. I am using the lines behind him and the rule of third, the dog in one, and he is in the other one, that he is like his friend and he is sleeping and taking rests. This one was in Netherlands. I am using again the lines in the floor to showing the direction. I am using the rule of third by putting them in this area and the surrounding of them. This one was in China. Again, I am using the rule of third and the repeated pattern of the Chinese wall. This one was in Vietnam, a lady walking with her animals. So again, the lines in the floor, her direction, her eye direction, and the rule of third. If you are seeing the face expression that she is showing that she is coming tired from her work. This one was in Nibel. This man was looking for some kind of ceremony. And suddenly a dog is coming and run standing here. So I am using the rule of third and the framing of the wood to show each one in a frame. This one was in China at early morning people who is doing the work. So I put it again in the rule of third and I am using the colorful of the building and the writing of the Chinese way around them. This one was in Egypt. A lady was taking her animal and passing away through the jars. So I am taking the repeated pattern of the jars and the rule of third. And if you see in all the images, no one is looking for me. So I am taking the image without preparation and without letting them know that I am taking images for them or I am taking photo for them. This one was in Netherlands, a lady walking with her dog. So I am decreasing the shutter to have a motion for her leg, as you see. So she is walking as a sharp here, if you see, and her leg is in motion just to give an idea for my image. And I am using the rule of third here. This one was in China. I am using here the rule of third. I am using the people who is working against each other 
and the lines in the floor plus the colorful around them. The lady here is not looking. She is just walking, uh, looking in her mobile and walking in her mobile. This was the last slide. This is my website and my social media. If anyone need to contact me at any time for asking any question, I am willing to help him. And this is the barcode for me to know how to contact me. Vikram? Yes, doctor. Thank you. Uh, so we'll take whatever the questions that we have from the audience, Shantaya. There are some important questions I, I'll ask them. Someone is asking, what is the best camera setting exposure mode? P A S O M uh, program, uh, priority, priority or manual mode. Okay. Uh, if you are a beginner, start with B. Yeah, program mode. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you are, uh, let's say, professional or semi professional, it depends on you. Mm -hmm. What is your concept? what you need to get from your image, what to be sharp and what to be out of focus. All the image to be sharp or all the image to be in focus. You need to using as a slow motion or you need to use it as a fast and freezing. So it will depend on the photographer. But as a beginner, start with beats, okay. Someone asked, did you enhance the colors? Not enhancing. I am usually, when I am shooting in the street photography, I am using the vivid color in the camera. ंग <laughs> 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 मुनादेशनोटे <laughs> ग्रूपनीस्ट <laughs> Uh, she is the only female photojournalist as far as i know from sri lanka you know and she does street all the time so you cannot add edit delete ultra enhancements to your image you got to produce it with a proper crop that you see best fit hari a crop again thama athena e wage ewa karanna puluwan e arenna wena 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 adjustments karanna ba if you are in hari during your street photography like if you are this is your job or this is your uh, profession is uh, always shoot in jebek Okay, and two things to do it if you need to enhance the color from the camera. So even if they ask for the uh, raw file, the JPEG file, the normal one from the camera, it will be the same. Yeah. Always use the cloudy, the white balance yeah. to be cloudy. Okay. And the vivid option, both of them together. Okay. Can I, Mr. Doctor, can I white balance mode deka cloudy jamma ma podda kara. उट इज In night time, usually you will not get, uh, let's say, a, a great image of street photography. Even if you see the famous photographer, they are not taking in night time for two reasons. First, the light will play with your image. The light, every light around you in night will play with your image. 
the crowdness on night, it will not let you uh, capture the moment that you need. Because in a street photography, you are not needing to capture a groups. You need to capture the moment of some person. So mostly at night time, all over the world, the night time is when the, all the people is going outside. So at night, if you need to shoot a street photography, you will use a tribal just for kind of motion, for kind of colors, but not as a capture of uh, uh, like people moment. There is something that I would like to add, Shanta. You make a product singular to Parivata Rekara and more than the technical terms. Though doctor was talking about mostly or 100% of the time on rule of thirds, when I went through some of the images that he was putting out, I see there are more compositional rules that he has either deliberately or indirectly followed, mm -hmm. right? For example, left to right, uh, filling in the space uh, and, and, and the golden triangle or the spiral, he has uh, used it though he has framed it in his mind or when he did the crop uh, uh, as a rule of third. Uh, this would be more interesting to the students who are following this particular session because the, the images do show uh, compositional rules that are beyond just the rule of thirds. Just that. Uh, yes, um, uh, the issue of uh, Vikram, uh, if we describe other rules than rule of thirds... No, 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 I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I'm, just saying, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying this because there are students in the, in the group who might just think, you know, okay, this is only rule of thirds, but uh, I know there are images in there and I saw it, there are, it goes beyond rule of third. So maybe Shantaya can explain it to the student groups. Yeah, actually, uh, uh, someone asked, uh, what is the grid uh, you are always showing? Again, Hamadisema, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, ने लाइन्स के ला एक ने प्रश्न कर दिया वांगे के चला मैं क्या कर रही है मगर ये तो मैं रूल ऑफ थर्ड्स के अन्य अभी के ना गोल्डन रूल ने मैंने तं स्वर्ण में अनुपात रीति ना तं स्वर्ण में रीति या स्वर्ण में लक्ष्य रीति के ला सहा ये ता मतलब वादें में विकुम अपने मतुकर बुद्धियाँ तमाई डॉक्टर Images tipa kaya na, kaya ni samahara deva larki wagi golden triangle tipa, apa yar filling the space kaya ni space kaya kumuti fill karan ni, ilang ato subject kaya terdi ana, api kaya na aramunu kaya terdi ana samaparata awe kaya na triangular sah circular, wenat wenat samaparata awe al, ilang ato rule of third word ya ha kaya, apa api composition rules kaya na gudak kaya na kaya na, jadi samahara ina mangitan itu alut maya tininda, egalan samahara abodya kaya terdi ni pulua. Tiada yang dah nua budak ni kerja ni doktor. Hanya di sini ada basic role lekang tamai. Basic role lekang tamai kira. Oh, kan? Apa dia orang macam ni? Kita start up kerja kerja dia tu ber use kerana ni pulang role lekang tamai golden rule. Kita samarai nang golden rule lekang tengah. Mana mata kerja asal pun dipadu oke dah. Agi umur cinta tu puna. Hebat. Mama ti tu nua begina kerja kerja dia tu golden rule lekang follow kerana ni budak pelan apa tu? Ada creative budak kerana start up kerja kerana honda. अबे इतनी यहाँ मतलब डॉक्टर के ये पेन्नो को दे वालों ला इतनी यहाँ ठीक है एडवांस कंपोजिशन रूल्स अप्लाई वेला दिखा समाट आरक्षित वाके डेलीवरेट लेकिन दिखा हमारा नो नट नो देनु आप तो मा एक ना होगे एक्सपीरियंस का तेक का आरा फोटो का कंपोज करने को ऑटोमेटिकली ये फ्रेम में नेगा कितने न we saw little distortion in some images, probably due to wide-angle lens. Do you do lens correction or use as it is? No, I am using as it is. Ah, yeah, sure. Because, see, uh, you don't need to uh, lens co uh, correction because I am not using a fish eye. I am using 27 or 16 to 50. So okay. both of them is don't, don't having a distortion in the image. Uh, no extreme distortions. Yes. Ikan ni, oh, amat bismah. Ia correction kerana ni ane ni, labi ni dia asid is pawai juga. Nasah, bodak pelan awal dia ultra wide angle lagi awal dia ane ni, bisha ya ultra wide angle lagi ane tu. Dasing muda, awal tu macam dasing ni, ane terima proxen seka kini tu, bodak pelan awal milimeter bisia terawa gaya ni, nama. Ia terawa bisia terawa bisia terawa gaya prime lens ya pawai juga. Nasah, kita kerana kita kerana dasing mana awal gaya lens tu, nama pawai juga ni kila. Jadi, body distortion ni, ane ni, wenas kerana ane ni, ane ni. Kanda itu ada adkaran dia pulang, pergi dia, mungkin tu 
डिस्टॉशन ने कावत लेंस डिस्टॉशन ने कैन्ने गुड़ा के लाड़ टॉल बिल्डिंग्स पागे तीन ना कोट्टा तमाय हुए डिस्टॉशन ने पढ़ा कर कैन्ने एक पर्सपेक्टिव्स अलिंग हादान ने पुलवां एक अलाब कंपटीशन दादित अलाब देगा एक प्रश्न मोरफेक्शन uh, What is your opinion about that? I think Henry Cartier person uh, you mentioned earlier, uh, he introduced that uh, the decisive moment. Uh, the first part is what I cannot hear. The first part again. The first part of the question. He asked the decisive moment. The the uh, important thing in uh, street photography is the decisive moment, peak of the action. Okay. Doctor, doctor, doctor. Uh, if, if I may just uh, clarify that, I think the question is more to do with. Uh, is it the technical uh, presentation of the image that is more uh, important than capturing the moment in in street photography? Okay, uh, here we will have uh, two different answers. Mm -hmm. First answer: If you are a photojournalist or you are doing kind of photojournalist, no, the moment is more important than the technique. Okay, but if you are doing street photography for some kind of competitions. No, here the technique will be more important than the moment, because you will lose your competition if your technique is not right or your image is not clear. But in photojournalism, the capture of the moment this is the most important for them to publish what's going on or what's happening. So it has two two different answer according to which side you will use the image. Doctor, explain to me. Wow, image जगह use करने में कब्जे करने का नो मेकअप विनाश नहीं आएगा ने समय लाड़ा होंदा में मोमेंट के कैप्चर करने का वाट ओने वे आगे रिकॉर्डिंग करने तभी आ अभी का तो आ न्यूज़ रिपोर्ट के निकाल गई ना है भाई वाह कंपटीशन ने एक अट दान वाला वाट टेक्निकल परफेक्शन ने का होंदा रहती है ना तारा मटो वाट एक विन कराने तीन चांस के वैरी की ला इधर अवस्था Entry level, okay. Can you put again beginner? Can you put a? What is the best camera for uh, entry level uh, photography? Yeah, unfortunately, we can't say. Just you need to have a small camera, whatever the brand, and it depends on your budget. Yeah, for current, we can. Tomorrow, we can current. We can promote it. Ah, or can we promote? Because promote, you put a entry level kit lens. Because because camera, we can buy it. Because. गुड़ा खुद भी इंदौर का रण बुलाएं थे एक तमाम के आवश्यक तावे साह बजट टेक टेक का तीर नहीं करना भाई ये हिमाउना ही किला वाट अपाहुस वेन नहीं ना खुद भी इंदौर का अच्छा करन करन ने बुलाओ। There's one other technical question which is say asking what about raw shooting? तुषार mm -hmm. विजय गुनरात ने has asked that question. Yeah. Doctor, over to you. For street photography, usually, usually I don't like to shoot in raw for one reason. Because raw is a data file; it is not a processed file. Mm -hmm. So uh, you will put yourself in doubt that this one uh, was the real image or this one was uh, a post-processing image. If you, someone is asking if you are using it, usually if you are a photojournalist, you will not use the raw. You will use always the JPEG because you are in hurry to send for your company or for your newspaper. But if you are a photographer and you will use it later for a, a composition, a, a competition, so uh, if they asking you for the raw file, it will be completely different than the post-processing file. So I don't prefer to shoot raw in uh, street photography unless you are shooting this to do some kind of exhibition for yourself or publishing as a book. So this is different scenario. Oh, I can imagine uh, raw file shoot. Then I can take a photo with this. अभी क्या ना अमूल इन डेट फाइल ले आता है ना रोफ़ फाइल लेके देना अनप्रोसेस्ड लेके आके क्या ने एक अपीरिस आके सुन कर लाना थी साक्ष्य कर बना थी क्या कि थोड़ा यहाँ के अन्य एक क्या ने पूरी डाउट लेके आती है ने बोलूँगा क्या ले थोड़ा कैमरा आगे प्रोसेस्ड कर लेना फाइनल इमेज जगह जेपे� डॉक्टर प्रिफर करेंगे शूट कर
මට දෙන්න දැන් රන් ටික තමයි තියෙන්නේ තෑන් කරලා තියෙන අපිට මේක මේ ගොඩක් අය කියන්නේ මේක ඕගනයිස් කරපු එක ගැන ඉක්මන් මේ ඩොක්ටර් වෑන් අපේ මේ NPAs ඔෆිෂල්ස් රට තෑන් කරලා තියෙනවා ගොඩක් අය මේක හොඳ ප්‍රෝග්‍රෑම් එකක් කියලා මේක ඇත්තටම බ්‍රේන් චයිල් සංක so uh, sanka is the one who actually uh, triggered this whole thing and all credit to him and uh, he's always been with me and then tried to uh, do the right thing for the kids meaning students of photography who are starting off in the diploma program and i believe there are certain uh, school children also participating in this program who may be connected through his uh, fathers and uh, mr bandugunrath's activities uh, in in different schools uh and maybe even pandulas i don't know uh, there are lots of people in the in the group i uh, i i think there were originally there were about 205 people uh, on board and now about 165 uh, uh, so uh, the the entire entire thing was driven by uh, sanka as in he was, the thought leadership came from sanka and i just supported him in making sure that i got the people uh, right uh to present uh, so doctor you are the first person to open batting in in cricket parlance and, and hopefully we will uh, we will and we will definitely continue this for the next 6 months so we are taking uh half year at a time so first 6 months second 6 months and it'll be a it'll be something that we will do every month possibly between the third and the fourth week every month so uh hama hama ma sema tumeni satiya hatarveni satiya ataratura meveni program ma kapi karana medrin idiriyata mama patan gatara tawa kattiya pandula man hitanne maget eka sambandha wenawa idiriyata meka ko host karanda host karanda sankath eka support karanna pia mama country lase nadiyata ps eka e anitha yawa jeeva samajika en pass eke questions to you. uh they will raise it to you uh directly or through us uh, we will be more than happy to connect the uh people party together not a problem at all sanka obatumata avasane athram series ekey palaveni verasarahannata velichara pramanayak sahabhagi wenna athram saturi api karapu et kale karapu epacharayata athram pratichara dakthala meka sambandhesa samodama mage pranamaya මොකද අපි මේක ජාත්‍යන්තරව තම ජාත්‍යන්තර ෆොටෝ ආඩිස් සමග ඉස්සලා කිව්වා වගේම ගෙන්නලා ඉදිරියටම කරන්න බලාපොරොත්තු වෙන්නේ. ඉතින් ඒකට වැලියු එකක් හැටියට සහ ඒගොල්ලන් කට්ටිය ප්‍රමාණය වැඩි වෙන තරමට තමයි ඒක වටිනාකමක් තියෙන්නේ. ඉතින් ඒක හින්දා සියලුම සහභාගී වුණ සියලුම දෙනාට බොහොම ස්තුතියි. විශේෂයෙන්ම ඩොක්ටර් අහම්මත් මොහොමඩ් හසන් එතුමා මේ අපි ඉන්ජිනේෂන් එක බාරගත්ත කිසිම තරතරයක් නැතුව කිසිම පැකිලීමක් නැතුව ඉතින් එතුමාට විශේෂයෙන්ම ස්තුතිවන්ත වෙනවා ඒකම මේ විකුම් මට ඒකට සහාය දැක්කවා අපිට සේම මම ඉස්සර කිව්වා වගේම මගේ කොන්සෙප්ට් එකටයි මම ඒක කරන්න බලාපොරොත්තු වෙන දෙයට කිසිම නාක ඒ කියන්නේ सहाय जजस्ला <laughs> अत्यावश्यम सहयोग्य मत तमाय 
අපි ඉස්සරහට කරන අපේ වැඩ වලට ධෛර්ය අපි ලැබෙන්නේ ඒ වගේම තමයි ඒ කරන්න තව තවත් අලුත් දේවල් කරන්න ආසාවක් ඇති වෙන්නේ මොකද වැඩි පුරම් පාටිසිපේට් කරනවා නම් කරන කොට තමයි අපිට හැඟීමක් ඇති වෙන්නේ මේ තවත් දේවල් ලංකාවේ මිනිසුන්ට මේක කරන්න ඕනේ කියන එක ඉතින් අපේ තියෙන සම්බන්ධකම් මත ජාත්‍යන්තර සම්බන්ධකම් මත තමයි අපි මේ ඉන්ටර්ෂන් කොට වාඩිස්ල වත් මේ කෙනල්ලා මේ වැඩ කටයුතු කරන්නේ ඉතින් අපිට ගිහිල්ල කරන්න බැරි වුණත් අපිට ඒ වගේ දේවල් ජාත්‍යන්තර අධ්‍යක්ෂකින් ලබනවා කියන එක ලොකු දෙයක් මොකද අපි රටක් ඇතිට සහ අපේ පොටගේ අපි පැත්තෙන් ගත්තොත් අපි ගොඩක් පස්සේ ඉන්නේ මොකද ඉන්ටර්ෂන් ගත්තොත් ඒගොල්ලන් ගොඩක් ඉස්සරහට ඉස්සරහට ගිහිල්ලා ඒගොල්ලෙක් කන්සෙප්ට් වෙනස් වෙලා ගොඩක් තියරිස් වෙනස් වෙලා රූල්ස් වෙනස් වෙලා අපි ලංකාවට එනකොට තාම අපි සෝ එන්නේ හැබැයි දැන් ඔන්ලයින් කියන හින්දා අපිට ටිකක් ඉක්මනට එනවා ඉස්සරහට වඩා එතකොට අපි වැළඳ ගන්න ප්‍රමාණය අපි අඩුයි ඉතින් ඇත්තටම අපි ඉන්ටර්ෂනලි අපි කම්පිටිෂන් වලට දාන ප්‍රමාණය ලංකාවෙන් ගත්තොත් හරි පොඩි ප්‍රමාණයක් දාන්නේ අපි එනකොට අතිශය දක්ෂ අය ලංකාවේ ඉන්නවා ඉතින් නොයිකුත් හේතු හින්දා ඉන්ටර්ෂනලි යන්නේ නැහැ මන් දැනෙන සමහර වෙලාවට දැනට නම් ආර්ථික තත්ත්ව හින්ද වෙන්න පුළුවන් නැත්තම් නොදුනත් කොහොම හින්ද වෙන්න පුළුවන් ඉස්සරහට යන්නේ නැත්ත ඉන්ටර්ෂනලි යන්නේ නැත්ත අදට සහභාගී වෙලා ඉන්නවා මෙතන මේ සෙෂන් එකේ තින්නවා ඉන්ටර්ෂල් වින් කරපු ගෝර්නල් සම්බිච්ච ලංකාවට කීර්තියක් ගෙනල දීපු ගොඩක් ෆොටෝ ආඩිස්ලා ඉන්නවා ලංකාවේ මේ මේ සෙෂන් එකට සහභාගී වෙන බොහොම ස්තුති තමන්ගේ සහභාගිත්වය දැක්කුවට මේකට මෙච්චරයි මට කියන්න තියෙන්නේ බොහොමත්ම ස්තුති ස්පෙෂලි තෑන්ක් ඩොක්ටර් අහමඩ් මොහොමඩ් හසන් ෆෝ ඇක්සෙප්ටින් අවර් ඉන්විටේෂන් Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Hari, thank you. Uh, Vikum. Okay. Uh, Vikum, thank you very much, Vikum. Uh, I'm going to log in here. 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 Unmute the program. Sir, thank you very much. I'm going to log in here. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very much, sir. තවත් මේ මගේ සිස්ටම් කියන්න ඕනේ දැන් මන්දු කුඩක් මහත්ම ආයෙ මත් ඉන්නවා අපි ඉන්ටර්ෂනල් ලම් අපේ වැඩ වලට එහෙම ගොඩක් සම්බන්ධ වෙච්ච නේද කොහොම අපි අපි ඉන්ටර්ෂනල් එක්සිබිෂන්ස් වලට හිටන් අපි දෙක වැඩ කරපු අපි දෙක අපිට සහයෝගය දැක්කෝ එතුමාට විශේෂයෙන් මතක් කරන්න ඕනේ අපිට අපි ජාත්‍යන්තර කටයුතු වලදී මාත් එක්ක ගොඩක් ගුරු ප්‍රාමතර මාත් එක්ක තවත් වැඩ වලට ගොඩක් සහයෝගය දැක්කුවා එතුමාට බොහොම ස්තුතියි මේ සෙෂන් එකට මම හිතන්නේ මම මම නැත්තම් එතුමා සහභාගී වෙලා ඉන්නවා බොහොම සූති ඒ වගේම මම දැන් නිරෝෂන් ඉවිල ඉන්නවා ඉන්ටර්ෂනලි යා ලංකාවේ නෙමෙයි ඉන්නේ කියලා හරි නේද අ එහෙමයි නිරෝෂන් ඔව් නේද ඉතින් ඒක තමයි මම මේ ආදිසියම මම දැක්කේ සතුටු වෙලා කියා මොනවාද මේ අපේ අජිත පිටරට ඉන්න අය දැන් මේකට අපි සහභාගී වෙලා තිනවා ඉතින් බොහොමත්ම සූති මේක ජාත්‍යන්තරයට ගෙන යන්න පුළුවන්කමක් දෙන අපිට අපේ ෆොටෝස් අපේ මේ වගේ වැඩ පුළුවන් තරම් ෂෙයා කරලා අපිට උදව් කරන්න ඒකම අපේ Facebook එක පරිශීලනය කරන්න අපේ Facebook එකට යන්න දැන් National Photography Card Society of Sri Lanka Facebook page එක ඒකට ගිහිල්ලා ඒකෙන් ඒකට like කරලා ඒක join වෙන්න එතකොට අපි අපි web එක npassrilanka.org ඒකෙත් අපි තොරතුරු ලැබෙනවා ඒකම අපි Instagram page එක Instagram එකත් දෙනවා npass official කියලා ඒකටත් සම්බන්ධ වෙන්න අපිත් එක්ක දිගටම ඉන්නේ කියලා මම බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා මොකද අපි දිගින් දිගටම අලුත් වැඩස් දහන් අලුත් දේවල් හඳුන්වා දෙන්න බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා බොහොමත්ම ස්තුතියි ඉතින් ටෙක් කළා අපිත් එක්ක රැඳි සිටියා ජය වේවා ඩොක්ටර් ඉස් දෙයර් ඇනිතින් යු වොන්ට් ටු කන්ක්ලූඩ් විත් ඔර් වි කැන් සේ ගුඩ් නයිට් ෆෙරස් ඇන් මි තෑන්ක් යු අගේන් ෆෝර් යුවර් ග්‍රේට් එෆෝර්ට් ෆෝර් ඩිස්ට්‍රිබියුටින් ද ඉන්ෆෝර්මේෂන් ඔර් ඩිස්ට්‍රිබියුටින් ද නොලෙජ් ඔෆ් ෆොටෝග්‍රැෆි Uh, really it's a great opportunity to have this program starting from sri lanka worldwide so thank you all for your effort and thank you all the participants for being with us i hope i was uh, helpful for everyone and everyone get something new from my presentation see you in coming presentation and see you in live maybe in august when i come to sri lanka so see you soon okay hi <laughs> welcome to sri lanka <laughs> maybe in august we say we come to attend uh, with we uh, we mail shantaya tawa kenek apita me address kala thiyena vishani puluwan katha karanna vishani athu korala vishani katha karala thank you it's a nice program 
I'm very happy. Thank you very much for everyone. You're welcome. You're welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Good night. Hey, man, Sanka, api samudaya mo kamo dito, man? Okay. There you are. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining. Mohan, thank you. Mohan, Samir. Mohan, Samir. Robert. Thank you, everyone. Everyone who joined. Yeah. Hi, Lee. Hi. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.